So technology has made huge leaps and bounds over the past 20 years. And many PCs has gotten so popular due to its small design, quiet fans, good power. Well, I have one of the world's first full Windows 11 Pro PC. You know what? Look at the size of this. This is so small. This is a whole Windows PC machine in this little bitty stick here. But you know what? Let's go on to talk about this mini PC stick. So let's have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So many PCs are good if you want a minimal setup, right? But not looking for gaming and not looking to do high-end applications such as photo editing or video editing. These mini PCs are not made for that, right? If you want the basics, mini PCs is really good for that. So first, let's talk about what you get in the box when you buy this mini PC stick. You get the mini PC itself, right? You get a power uh, adapter, right? You get an HDMI and you get a user manual. Now the price for this mini PC comes in at a mind blowing $160. I will leave product links down in the description below. All right. So let's go over the PC, right? This PC stick, nice and small, kind of lightweight here. You got a lot of vents here all over the PC. You do have an internal fan in here. Uh, so it can keep it, keep it really cool. Now here you got two USB uh, 3.0s here. You got your uh, DC port and you have your power button there. And you can plug this in HDMI, full HDMI, and that's it. It doesn't have USB-C, which is a bummer, but uh, yeah, so you could plug this up in the back of a monitor and you're good to go. But it does come with a HDMI male to female uh, to extend it if you like, and it comes with a power pu uh, plug. Uh, and that's it. But looking at it, looks really good here. Very lightweight. So let's talk about the specs here on this mini PC stick. It has the Intel Celeron processor that have four cores and four threads. It got eight gigs of DDR4 RAM, 128 gigs of storage. You got Bluetooth 4.2 uh, and the HDMI here can give you a max resolution of 4096 by 2196. You have two USB uh, ports here and you got the power port, the uh, power button here. Uh, and the whole design here is built on fans. You got a lot of stuff here for ventilations. So uh, you have a lot of stuff going on here uh, with this mini PC. Let me give you a demo because I ran some benchmark tests and uh, I got some thoughts about this mini PC. So check this out. So looking at it right here, this, this is going to be about the system here. You see that it does have the Celeron processor in it, 2.0 gigahertz. Uh, you got eight gigs of RAM, a 64 bit operating system. You are running 11 uh, Windows 11 Pro here. So uh, let's get out of here. And I did run some benchmark tests. Uh, on this PC and I want y'all guys to see this. So we got a single core score of 281 and a multi-core score of 559, uh, which is very, very low. Remember, this is a Celeron processor, so I just want y'all guys to know that. And then I ran a, another performance test here. And right here, I do have the results. And um, gotta blow this up a little bit. Now, it does give you some stats on everything about this here. It has a processor here. It's a very low score for a processor. Now, the graphics here it scored a very low score here, 1.37%. Uh, it's uh, too low to play 3D games and stuff like that, so you're not gaming on this at all. Uh, also, you got 8 gigs of RAM, which is really good here, even though it's DDR4, but it does have 8 gigs of RAM, so it will run it very well. Now, again, this is an Intel Celeron processor. Here, and some of the scores here, it's, it's uh, benchmarking into the kind of poor level here uh, because it have uh, four cores and four threads. Uh, so it kind of in the 16th percentile, uh, kind of in a raid here when they talk about scores. Uh, and 
where you go to the uh, Intel uh, graphics, which has the, uh, the the graphic 600 in here, integrated graphics. Again, it's kind of score 1.37 on their percentile when, when it comes down to benchmark tests. Uh, and again, it's all in array, pretty much terrible score there. I got uh, YouTube opened up here and uh, it does play very well, as you can see. Now it does have that 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 real real instant of lagging. Now here's the thing: if you're going to use this for web browsing, uh, if you're going to be connect this to a printer, if you want to type out some documents and stuff like that, this uh, computer, this mini PC works great for that. Remember, this thing costs 160, 170 bucks, so you're not going to get too much of power here. Now again, if you want to do some like browsing, uh, it's really good for that. Uh, but as far as doing any task such such as uh, you know video editing or photo editing, nah, you're not gonna do that with this machine. But uh, let me go on and and search for 4K so we can see the 4K images here, 4K uh, Ultra HD. So let's go and look at this right and let's see if it's gonna play this uh, 12K HDR right here, and that's uh, it give a true testament on how the Celeron processor with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, use now look at that that's a beautiful image there uh and uh let's see if we can get it as highest quality here right let's see if we can get a higher quality and again you got that slight delay just want y'all to see that slight this a this a slight delay okay now it is doing this it's struggling a little bit at the higher frame rates as you can see it is doing this a little tab struggle and i expect that from a high bit rate you know 1440p but this is what you're going to get i want y'all got to see this it is stuttering a little bit when it's playing this high-end 12k hdr uh so just so you know but the image quality obviously the monitor have a whole lot to do with it but uh as far as this computer i would tell you that if you're going to use uh this i would drop it down to about 1080p so here's my conclusion this piece PC stick is great for college students that need to browse the web, type up documents, if you need to add printers and everything else in between. It's good for that. It's good for light duty work. This is not a gaming machine. Just keep that in mind. Look, it's not recommended for games. It's not recommended for high-end programs. And one of the things that it doesn't have is USB type C. So that's a bummer, right? But other than that, this is a nice setup here. Now, I did show you guys some 8K footage here. Uh, and look, again, with the Celeron processor on, in here and running benchmark tests with the lower scores, you know, the eight gigs of RAM helps it a lot. But for 160 bucks, you really can't complain about full Windows 11 Pro on a little bitty device like this that you could put in your pocket and go anywhere with it. Real PC work done. I believe this is great for that college student going out to school and 160 bucks, you can get this to them, give them a $20 Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and you could get a lot of work done. Uh, it's not the fastest, obviously, with the Celeron processor in it, but it gets the job done. Now, as far as the fan noise, it's next to none. You will hear no fan noise coming out of this machine. So it's good to watch some Netflix movies. It's good to get some work done. 160 bucks, you really can't complain about something like this. And it, the price is mind blowing, 160 bucks for a full Windows PC right here in the palm of your hands. So I really do like it for what it can do. Again, you have to know the use case scenario for this product. I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to check this out. This is Dr. Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the mini PC stick in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.